What's up guys, G1Xron here, and today I thought I'd do another Starcom video. This is going to be over the Shadow Raider and the Shadow Invader. Now these guys were each sold separately, but this does have a gimmick that these both share together, so that's why I wanted to put them in the same video. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Shadow Invader. This is just one of those small vehicles, there were several in the toy line. Most of them were on the good guys side, but um, cool little thing. Uh, it has the rubber tires, it does have a wind-up gimmick that you can use in this mode and also it's you know battle mode I guess is what you can call it and it does have some spring things as well so little cool little toy also you can see some nice stickers they always put them in the cockpit there's magnets here magnets here um, you know a little place for fuel so some nice stickers not too bad uh, now taking a look at the Shadow Raider uh, this is one of those vehicles that whenever you look online you want to you know try to pick up this toy line this is one that there's always broken pieces uh, and the main thing that's always missing and you can kind of see the way the treads are supposed to be I got them that way on this one and oh that's what exactly what I was talking about uh, they just come off uh, and this is the way this is supposed to be so uh, it does have wheels does roll uh, but these things just come off just way too easy, and that's why you'll see a lot of them uh, missing things like that, and then they charge you quite a bit for these tracks if you want to get them uh, complete. Another thing that is always missing is this back yellow gun back here, and also this little gimmick that uh, is going to be popping out here in a minute. Now, one of the gimmicks that I wanted to show with this gun is you can extend these tracks, and they're not individual, so these will come together, the same with the front ones. And let's say you got this guy here. And again, like I said, you have a magnet here. Uh, let's just put them right there. And there's also a magnet down here. Now, there are several vehicles that had this gimmick. Uh, but he's just driving along, and he picks that up, and then he starts to carry it. Oh, uh, this is where you want it. Lift up. Or, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, lift up there, and then you can, you know, he rolls on, and he drops it off for somebody. So, uh Cool little gimmick, you know, just do it again, bam, there you go, lift up, leaves it there, so, I like it, it's cool, especially, you know, 1986, 87 when you were a kid, you thought this thing was awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and get, get this one transformed, or transformed, um, springed out in battle mode, I can put that guy in there, they did not come with pilots, you had to buy them individually, uh, you can pull out here on these front wheels, and when you pull out with the back, it activates that section there. There's a magnet here, rubber wheels. Like I said, you can pull the little gun out. And we can put a guy back there. So now he's armed. And then you have these little sections here that you slide these up. And it reveals these yellow guns at the front. So not too bad. Cool looking little vehicle. This backpack's coming off. I'll be alright. Alright, move him to the side. And bring back in the Shadow Raider. Um, I mean, already this looks cool. If God, man, seriously, uh, you might glue those on. I mean, there's no reason for you to, you know, take them off. So yeah, you might just might as well glue them on. I don't know why they didn't. Whenever they sold them to us as kids, but whatever. Uh, some nice stickers on this. This should actually be pushed in a little bit more. But again, this was made in 1986 so almost 30 years old from when I'm shooting this video so it's it's not the best but it, it's all right and it's complete uh, one of the buttons here is this right here for the canopy that opens up springs a little bit weak but I got a guy in there uh, then you have a button here that you can press is it gonna do it come on oh, no. we'll just give a little bit of a shake and you saw that these guns popped out. This popped up here as well. Did that one? Oh, really? Dude, I'm going to have to super glue that in. It's kind of annoying. Uh, this pops up. This section extends here as well. You can pull this gun. It rotates here. You can go ahead and put a little guy back there. So now he's you know, manning that turret. And I, I do like the fact that it rotates as well. Uh, then with this gun, you're going to rotate that. I guess that can come off. Uh, extend these little guns here. And you can set this guy here. He can, Those uh, little handles will actually fit in his hands. And there you go. He's all mounted up, ready for battle. So not too bad. Just make sure he's all focused in for you guys. So 
Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, I've had these for a while, but, you know, wanted to do the review uh, just because I didn't see a whole lot of them in HD on YouTube. And uh, some of them weren't complete, some of them were. And, uh, you know, it's a really expensive toy line to get into. Uh, you wouldn't believe it. Most of you guys have probably never even heard of it before. But uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I will bring you more of these depending on how well, you know, you receive them. Uh, follow us on our website, www.cybercastnetwork.com, and I will talk to you later.